Hello everybody. I bought a cube with a noisy transmission that was still working. It's got 195,000 kilometers on it, which translates to about 120,000 miles. Uh, this is a jar of fluid that I took out of the transmission. So, I guess probably about a pint or so, maybe a half liter, a little under that of overfill. So that was an issue for sure. Plus it's dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up and we'll listen whether my pump wine is still there now that I've drawn off the extra fluid. And um, anyway, I'm going to drop the pan soon. And if there's no metal in the pan, I am going to change the fluid and we'll see if we can get this pump noise to go away. But let's have a listen. Okay, and here is the inside of the pan where I did find some metal bits. Not sure how well you can see them, but those little specks there. Try and focus. Yeah, are metal. So, at this point, I am not sure. I think I might just risk it anyway and try it because the fluid is so tired in it but uh, I think it's probably going to need a transmission anyway that's what I found in the pan okay so here is the filter that came out of that CVT and lots of little shavings that you can see there this thing's trying to focus on them anyway um, yeah, a fair bit of stuff came out of this filter when I washed it out. Um, what I think has been going on, this was so plugged, the screen was plugged solid basically with just old gunk and, uh, and shavings. I think this pump was turning itself inside out trying to uh, pump fluid. Uh, what happens when you put fluid under a high vacuum? is you create cavitation bubbles and I think that it was just sucking so hard trying to pump fluid that it was making bubbles. If I'm right when I put fluid in it it will shut up but uh, we'll see. I'm gonna roll the dice. I'm gonna try and find some fluid for it today. It is specifically NS2 fluid in these and they're really fussy so I'll probably go to Nissan to buy it. Oh yeah there's Steve. Hi Steve. He's a pretty good dog. He helps me fix this sort of crap. So I went to my local Nissan dealer and I paid, well, it was only $23.95 plus the goods and services tax. So that was a heck of a bargain. We treated, uh, we're going to treat the cube to a little bit of touch up paint of the right color and we're going to try to make the CVT great again. So, going with the right stuff, very important, because these are fussy. And I was very careful to measure how much I took out. Um, basically, by dropping the pan and by removing the trans lines to the little cooler, um, I basically blew out what I could. And then, of course, dropping the filter as well. Tried to keep good track of what I took out, and I took out about four and a half liters. So, I got five. And uh, so that and the touch of paint was only 150 bucks Canadian. So that's that's a bargain. Anyway, there we go. Steve. Okay, this is underneath this little Mr. Cube. And this is where the main filter is taken off. And there's also another filter that's in here which needs attention as well. I'll show you it. And 
that's it okay which just came out of this area up here anyway I'm gonna make sure they're both right and or replace them if they're not and we'll go from there so measuring what I took out of the car came to fill up this 4.4 liter mobile jug pretty much to the top now I'm going to put four liters in you can see this little thing here that I've painted silver the round silver thing this is the dipstick I have it turned away from the lock tab that you'll see on yours there's videos on getting them out anyway that's it that's the hole down there that we're going to aim for and uh, hopefully we'll see and this is just a picture of the condition of the fluid that came out of it I mean it's always going to look dirty but it was filthy and what it should look like what the new correct Nissan NS2 fluid is There's Steve. We're sitting here waiting on every last drop of that expensive crap to go into old QB here. So, Steve, what's going on? <clears throat> How do you think it's going to win the World Series? Hmm. Yeah. All right. We'll keep. Probably going to put four and a half in, I think. So, here's the moment of truth. Crap. I don't know if I'm looking forward to turning that key or not. We'll see. See how it sounds. I should probably be on the other side of the car to run through the gears, but I just want to fire it up and see what the hell it sounds like. So, here we go. I don't hear any whine. First, Steve. Steve? Steve? Well, fuck me, it's not whining. I think the pump was being waterboarded. Here he is. Steve, do you hear this thing whining still? Yeah, I know, I'm pretty... Oh, there's Carlos. Does that sound fairly normal, Carl? Yeah, they're both thinking it is. That's frickin' awesome. Wow. I wonder if it's a healthy CVT in there. Won't know till we drive it. But anyway, there's some, uh, there's some proof in the pudding of changing the fluid, but not just changing the fluid. Not just swapping it out. You have to freshen those two filters. I didn't actually replace mine, and I didn't replace the gasket either, and apparently it's not leaking, so I guess maybe I have a good touch. But I'm also planning to drop the pan again anyway, once it's run for a bit. But that's amazing. Anyway. The car kind of grows on you. <laughs>